Now it is time for Bible study. I would like to give to our speaker. Um, we want to thank God for a new day that He's added in our lives. And uh, we rejoice that we can come together to study His Word. Um, as I look around, I see a lot of you young people. And, uh, that's something that really excites my heart. To see God is working in the lives of young people, His purpose is to fulfill. Most of you know that I have two daughters. Um, my older daughter was married about a year ago. And our younger daughter is a teacher in a school in Kolkata. And, uh, and it's a joy to be able to meet with each one of you young people and to teach God's word. For our Bible studies, Bible study na, we're going to look at the life of Joseph. And some of you already have your pen and your notes in your hand. Makes me very happy. Because Bible study is about writing and studying God's word. And so every day I'm going to ask you questions. As, as I teach you, the next day I'm going to ask you questions. And I want you to try and remember what we are going to learn. Okay, this Bible study series is called Make Me a Blessing. So, so if you're writing down notes, it's make me a blessing. Each one of you Garo young people, God wants to make you a blessing. And as we look at the life of Joseph, we want to ask ourselves, how can I be a blessing? So open your Bibles right now. Turn to Genesis chapter 37. And I want to read to you verse 2. So you have your Bible open at Genesis chapter 37. Let's look at verse 2. This is what the Bible says. This is the account of Jacob's line. Joseph 
was a young man, 17, and he was tending the flocks with his brothers. Joseph ni bersi cisni ongwa, ada ni ada terang baksa, dobo perni jago ni rakyat sem. So as you look at your Bible, rimen nak ni sastro ko naan ikat sem. Genesis chapter 37 and verse 2. Abad siya oray kolat cisni pot gniko. The Bible says, sastro gana. Joseph is 17 years old. Joseph para bersih cisni macam, and he is a shepherd. Aru ara jap ni lekap macam. Are there any young people here who are seventeen years old? Ayano bersih cisni kap kapat sadam berang dong ama. Anybody seventeen? Saw saw bersih cisni macam jap mesokat bo. Yes, I see a few hands. Okay, seventeen years old. Ada tak jap orang pun katanya zaman bersih cisni. Now Joseph was just like you. Ramai Joseph pada nasi mangkatan tik tak orang mah. Seventeen years old. Wah bersih cisne orang. What was he doing? Aru orang macam tu tak kenyat sah. He was looking after sheep. Wara mes rangku ni kenyat sah. He was just an ordinary shepherd boy. Wara ram ram mes ni kepa bisa san bacaan dan besan orang sah. Now turn with me in your Bible to Genesis chapter forty one. Tahu ni nasi mangkatan sah tu kan nasi mangkuk baksa. Reyong kata, sorry, abad siapa orang sotbri sauna badal bo? Genesis chapter forty one. Abad siapa orang sotbri sa? And we want to look at verse fifty seven. Aro abad siapa orang sotbri sa ni? Pot sotbungas ni ko ni bo? Genesis forty one. Abad siapa orang sotbri sa? Verse fifty seven. Pot sotbungas ni. This is what the Bible says. Sastro ni kaya kana. And the whole world came to Egypt to buy grain. From Joseph, for the famine was severe everywhere. Aro plus asong rangoni Egypt si Joseph po na mi brainery ba ha? May na plus asongo wa karap blong ha. So what's happening in Genesis 41? Riman abat siya or ay surprise or may ungs kaya siya. The shepherd boy. Yeah. Mes ni rukpa pas jap ni rukpa sadam be has now become a blessing not to one person not to two people but to the whole world. Wara saksa basakni mandirana patiani ko abag pasan wai jadi pa agasa gemuk nan wara patiani ko abag ponga ha. You know sometimes young people in the Garo Hills. Wia ma baza ko bade anseng ya aska asong dongkpa sadam be rang. You may say I'm just an ordinary person. Nakana po tunga ate mamungbong paja ram ram mandesan. I'm from a small village. Ano men sunbig pa sunga damo ni wah. I'm I don't have many talents. Ang wade bangat sana sa panirang ko tung paja. I'm not intelligent. Aro ang wade gisuk singgo pa bang sa. Look at the life of Joseph. Joseph ni zangi tayo ni po. He was just like you. Wah nanggetan tikta pa ka ordinary. Ram ram san san shepherd boy. Jack ni rek pa unknown. Aro darang siwa masih aku mengkita pasal. But what does God do with him? Adi bi so una maiko tak kah? He takes his life. Wah unis jangi tani ko raha. And he makes him a blessing to the whole world. Aro unis jangi tani ko ba uko agasa kemerk na patiani jafang wata. I want to tell you that God is able to make you a blessing to the whole world. Anga yako nang na agas ka isol nang ko rahin bani nang ko agasa kemerk na patiani jafang wata ma. God wants to use us in special ways. Isol ang singko deng tang man sayo man pa kamera mo jakan na tuska. Every time I come to the Garo Hills. Sangat tiang at sa sumuna ribaun. I use one or two illustrations about the bamboo. Anga mengsa mengani tuan yang ko wa aku ray akan nunga. Because you see so much of bamboo in the garo hills. Right? Maina at sa sumuna ribaun de pa ang wa arang ko nak kita mana. Now this illustration I use from the very first time I came to the garo hills. Iya tuai akan ni pa golpo ko anga at sa sumuna ribaun change so mana ko ni nak ana. It seems a man was walking on the road. Mandi saksa ramakur yang macam ni kan? And he found a small piece of bamboo. Aru an ke, namin kandik pa, batun big pa, wa a, wa tuk ku mana? And it was very dirty. Aru namin macam macam tak kacau. It had rained the previous night. Ah, unas kang walsa, kang makawa ha? The boys had kicked that bamboo. Aru an ke, sorok sorok pa mian, bisan ngua wa tuk dek ku tengir wa ha? Nobody even wanted to touch it. Darang buku kolam na batang tap na mus dek. It was so dirty. Aru an namin macam macam. But the man picked up this bamboo. Ani pun wa mande ya wa aku kolam ha? And he started to take it home. Aru kuwa nukci na rangha. And when he was taking it home, aru zen selalu ku nukci rangnya sa. Bamboo began to laugh. Wa wa a kadun na bocinya. Are you so foolish? Naran dah please go kama. I'm on the road. 
The boys kicked me. The girls don't even want to touch me. I'm so dirty. And the man why do you want to take me home? But the man took the bamboo home. And he started to wash the bamboo. And the bamboo started to laugh. He said, by, by washing me, can you change me? I'm useless, throw me back on the road. But after the man washed the bamboo, he measured the bamboo, and then he made a few marks on the bamboo. And the bamboo was laughing. He said, foolish man, throw me out. I'm useless. Then the man took a drill and he started to drill holes on the bamboo. And the bamboo screamed. No, 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 no. I don't like you. Throw me out. I'm useless. What can you do with me? And then the man took the bamboo. And he came to criminal number three, youth convention. And he came to criminal number three, youth convention. And he came to criminal number three, youth convention. And the bamboo was so shy. The bamboo said, look at all of these pretty girls. Look at all of these handsome men. Why have you brought me here? I am from the streets. So the bamboo is trying to hide in the man's shirt. The man pulled the bamboo out. And he put it to his lips. And he began to play music. And as he began to play music, all the young people started to cry, clap. And the bamboo began to cry. I was on the streets. I was dirty. I was ordinary. You took me. You cleaned me. You changed me. You made me beautiful. And now you sing through me. And that's what God wants to do in our life. He wants to make me a blessing. A, sh a shepherd boy who became a blessing to the whole world. So as we study the life of Joseph, we, we, we ask ourselves the question, how can a shepherd boy become a blessing to the world? What are the lessons I can learn from his life? There are three lessons I want to teach you. One today. One tomorrow. And one on Sunday. So you have your notes. Lesson number one. How did Joseph move from being a shepherd to becoming a blessing to the world? Lesson number one is because of Joseph's stewardship. We want to look at Joseph's stewardship today. Tomorrow when we come back, we want to look at a second lesson. Joseph's separation. Not just Joseph's stewardship, but Joseph's separation. Joseph, And on Sunday, we want to look at the third lesson. Joseph's steadfastness. Joseph's stewardship. Joseph ni 
Joseph antara pati minang ko isu ni pati mai dekik zakhala hana. Joseph separation. Joseph mai dekik gempa nawi dengkang ni antara orang India. Joseph steadfastness. Harus Joseph mai dekik kem gempong ah. Joseph is an ordinary shepherd boy. Joseph para ram ram gempa zak ni dekik apa mesti dekik pasan oh ya. But God makes him a blessing to the whole world. And if he sold ko apa sah kemerk na pati ni zapang tak ah. We learn from his life of stewardship. Ansin uni stewardship pun ni janggi tang isu ni pati mana ko nampai zakhal ni zakhal mana. Life of separation. Uni kepun awal ni deng tangge janggi tang awal ni ko. And his life of steadfastness. Aru ni kem kem me janggi tang awal ni ko. Now Bible study is a time when we have to study. Like when we go to school, we have to study, right? Bible study deh bahasa sastra itu ame study kah ni deh was school tu ansi dekik pade one ke sanjaya ni one. So I want to see if you remember what I just said to you. Oni keman? Anga tau mak mana sana jekwa kan ha? Uko nasun giskram raja uko anga gis ani ani naskian. We're gonna learn three lessons from Joseph's life. Joseph ni janggi tengok ansen bunga tham skiran yang ko dah nak kaya. What's the first lesson? Kang permai sam? Give me an answer. Aga nak ko? Joseph's stewardship. Joseph ni stewardship. Okay. Joseph na zaman ko pati ko ni na mesa kalian. I think we all need to say it loudly. Maybe you're all very tired after the tug of war last night and uh, you know difficulty this morning to maybe find your way around. Breakfast was a little late. Maybe you're tired. But let's repeat those three. I'm saying gam. Me aga na hai don asong na Indian mizal tham budu salgar kani aro dashi prango ada si mang uci uci tak ke sarang orang ni roe ni. Ni kan yang aku mana apa tu kan? Then bahaya ancing gak, macam mana nak? So the first word, sekarang apa? Is the word stewardship. One English term stewardship. Can we say it together, please? Agan apa mungkin macam macam? I think we can do better than that. Okay. Ina bete nam bete mungkin kan bancing ada? Maybe you should do it in Galway. Yeah. There's not a single word actually. There's That's why. Yeah. Word. Okay. I have to explain. Okay. That. So the first word is the word stewardship. Ah, ni kan? Hai, anting English ni stewardship ni, rana. Di bukan anting thala tak aku di wilayah ni apa mo? Ni kan? Hai, gamai stewardship ni kan? Thank you. Okay. What's the second word? Ah, gini kan? Pak kata ramai. Separation. Okay, we've got to say it together again. All of you. Ah, absolutely. Kan? Ni English ni, kan? Tapi pun apa lagi mo? Okay. What's the second word? Separation, very good. And what's the third word? Katham gupa. Steadfastness. You want to say it again? What's the third word? Let's do it again. The third word. I think we can do a little better. Steadfastness. The third I word. Let's, let's do it together. Thank you. What's the first word? Stewardship. What's the second word? Separation. What's the third word? Steadfastness. Today we want to look at Joseph's stewardship. Ah, ya pernah anjing Joseph ni stewardship, by Sony una pati mana ko nama ini zakhalim nanti yang ke. We're looking at Genesis chapter thirty-seven. Anjing abad siapa orang kolat sini ko ni ya? We're going to read from verses twelve down to verse eighteen. Anjing pot cikin yoni cicat una peragian. So if you have your Bibles, lembu nasi mang sastra abang ode. You want to follow with me. Nasib mang ang baksa ni dek nama mungkin. Genesis chapter thirty-seven. Ah, baca yang udah kolat sini. Beginning to read at verse twelve. Ah, pot cikin ni pernah nak baca. This is what the Bible says. Yang sastra agan ni kuat. Now Joseph's brothers had gone to graze their father's flock near Shechem. Aru ni ada tangerang gua mang ni pagup ane dogok jak ko ni dek na Shechem ciri yang ha. And Israel said to Joseph, as you know, your brothers are grazing the flock near Shechem. Come, I'm going to send you to them. Here I am, he replied. Unon Israel Joseph na anha, nangi ada tangerang, shekemo dobok jakko nirekzama, rebabo, anga uwa maona nakko watatken, unon uwa ukon naha yakayanga. Verse 14. So he said to him, go and see if all is well with your brothers and with the flock and bring back word to me. Then he sent him off from the valley of Hebron yeah, from the valley of Hebron. Unon wa uko naha rengi na ni ada thangra na meyama aru zakra na meyama uko niye angna agani po unon wa uko Hebron ni akhawe ni watat tua. When when Joseph arrived at Shechem, a man found him wandering around in the field, and he asked him, "What are you looking for?" Wa Shechem unon sokang ha aru nipo wa pathalo reiro yachem unon mande saksa uko grong ha 
Arua Mandi Kosina now my Kopmiya. He replied, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing their flocks? Arua Nanaha Anga Angi Ada Tangaranko Amma Wamang Banan Idiknya Ukonga Agan Fabo. They have moved on from here. The man answered, I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them near Dothan. Unon Wamande Aganha Wamang Yanguni Yangha Mina Wamakni. Hayan singa dotan chiri na na ko angak na aha unon Joseph antangi ada tangrang ko jarakangi dotan no wamang ko shapaha. But they saw him at a distance and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Aru chelling on wamang ko nitsoha aru wamang una sopanas kan wamang uko sotna kumong soha. As I look at that one passage, ya sasri bakoniyong I see Joseph's stewardship. Anga Joseph ni stewardship on in a medakani kanka. I see Joseph as a faithful man. Joseph namen kaketipa mande in it. I see Joseph as one who is willing to do the biddings of God and the biddings of his father. Anga Joseph ni zangitaniko Joseph punyaton, Joseph para isol ni namnukako. One of the principles that the Bible teaches us is that when we are faithful in the small responsibilities that God has given us, then he gives us bigger responsibilities. All of you are young people in the Garo Hills. The question we need to ask ourselves is, are you faithful in the responsibilities God has given you? As a student, are you faithful? As a son or a daughter, are you faithful? In your commitment to God, are you faithful? In your work with the church, are you faithful? Oh, Joseph was faithful. He was a man of good stewardship. I want you to think about five lessons from that passage very quickly this morning. If you want to write down those five lessons, because tomorrow I'm going to ask you to remember them. So our lesson for today is stewardship. And many times we say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'll do it tomorrow. And sometimes we ignore those words from our parents. But as you look at Joseph, He's willing to be a servant. Look with me at verse 3. Because in verse 3, the Bible says something very important. The Bible says his father loved Joseph more than all of his other sons. So, so Joseph was his father's favorite son. The second thing the Bible says in that same verse is that his father made him a beautiful robe. So he was his father's favorite son. And his father gave him a favorite robe. Now that robe was a robe of a special position that Joseph had. Now think about it. Now they favorite son. Special robe. And his father calls him and he says, would you go and check on your brothers? Now, Joseph could have said, 
Joseph ni kaya kana mana cem? Send one of the servants. Wah, nukul angoni saku watat po. Don't you know I'm your favorite son? Angada nang ni nam nukpat kuba depan di sini nawi cem? Don't you know I have this beautiful robe? Naksa mga yan ang bayik pat sulak ko ganan ni mang. This is too small work. Yeah, nang ni kaya tani ko takna tete namin ram ram kam chun kapa. I'm not going to go. Adil yang jawa. You send somebody else. Na saku watat po, but not with Joseph. You see, Joseph was willing to become a servant. Now we are Joseph para no call gata kam kana kusiyang ubong ah. You think about Jesus, right? Jesus ni mat sanci ni ko. He comes along with his disciples to celebrate the Last Supper. Wah, antani seneng para maksa bon kam gapa mehat tham ko mania cem. And uh, they walk through the streets and they come into this place where they're going to celebrate the Last Supper. Aro dike wa mang Rama rangkori pay. Ya nukona babia pun esok pagi yang nuam arah ya bunkam kau bapa miak tamko mani nak kerja. And as you walk through these streets, your feet get dirty. Aduh, dia anjing ramah kau ribaon jarang macam ya. You know, last night I walked back from here to my room. Asong uyama misal tamonga ya babia pun i angin dongsa kau bapa kuturioner yang. And this morning I had to polish my shoes. Aduh, ya pungo angin ni juta orang kau. Because it gets dirty, right? Mana macia? So the disciples and Jesus have walked through the streets and they've come into the room. Their feet is dirty. But even Jesus are only snanga parang wara makuri ba? Are we kutiro ne? But are we jarang macia sam? Now the disciples should have washed Jesus' feet. Now they yah snanga parang sa Jesus ko jasuat na ngacam. But they were sitting around the table. And they were among they were chachakram mes ni mes ko dule asong yacam. And Jesus decides to teach them an important lesson. Aro Jesu wa mana mungsong ke pas kia ni kus kina skia ha. In fact, the Bible says Jesus took off his clothes. He put a towel around his waist. Sastro gana Jesu antani gandeng ko okaha aru ane ke kangkario kaha. And he took a basin in his hands. Aru ane ke wa jasu cakat ane ko raha. And he began to wash the feet of his disciples. Aru ane ke wa antani seneng perani jaku jasu cakat nama cina. Now you know when it came to washing the feet of people in the days of Jesus. Ah, we aman asih mang ya Jesu ni somayo ane ke. A Jewish slave would not wash a fellow Jew's feet. Only a Gentile would wash a, wash a Jew's feet. But here is Jesus. He is the master. Wa getel was kikupong ah. He is the son of God. Wa isol ni depante ong ah. He is the one that created these disciples. Wa antani sneng parang ko wa nong ata ha. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. Wa ani kitak parang ko wat kupong ah. What does he do? Wa mai ko dakah ha. He takes a basin. Wa ba sa susakat ni ko ah. Starts to wash the feet of his disciples. Aron digi wa antani sneng parang ni jaa ko jaa susat na abat siya. And then Jesus tells them. I am the master. I have become the servant. I have set you an example so that you will go out and do the same thing. How did, God, how did God take this young man who was a shepherd and make him a blessing to the whole world? Mai dek ini soalnya, ya ram-ram kepa zat ni dek pun dia bisa ko agak sekarang mana patihan yang wata ha? Because of his stewardship, uni stewardship pa isol ni orang ni ko nama ni dek ni gimana? He was willing to be a servant. Wah, antang ko no call kita watna hari hari gimana? The apostle Paul, kisra mau wata ta Paul, he's writing to the Roman church, right? Wah, Roman, Roma dong pun mondo ni nasi hati ansam. Paul had never been to Rome. Paul Romo na sang sabar yang kujat sam. He is writing this letter before he went. Uno na yang nas kang sa ya sti ko was yat sam. Now everybody in the church at Rome knew who Paul was. Romo dong ba plak Romo dong ba mondol yo plak mandirangan Paul sawo ko yat sam. They knew he was a great man. Wamang uya Paul ada mental. Gepa mandir wah. Powerful preacher. Namen black pas ki prakba. A great church planter. Aro Ramen dalgup pa, mondoli orang ko sungup pa mandi. God had changed his life. Isol uni zangi tani ko dengtang at ha. Everybody in the Roman church knew Paul. Romo dongup pa, mondoli ni mandi orang sakang jen Paul ko uya. And Paul is writing to them. 
Ano po, wa mang na tsiti set niya siya. And as he writes to them, ano wa mang na set niya on, you know what the first thing he says to them? Wa mang na skang pa katawa, may kwa ka na isimang uya ma? He says, I am Paul. Wa ka na, anga Paul, I am a servant of Jesus Christ. Aro anga, Jesu Christo ni no kolo ma? You know, if I was writing that letter, anga, po, wa tsiti ko anga sa set niya on this? I would have said, I am Ashok Andrews. Ah, sige nsa, ang asok Andrews. I am pastor of this this church. Ah, yah yah yah, mundo ni pamong. You know, I have preached in all these countries. Aro ang yah yah yah, asong mga ski prakaha. This is the thirtieth time I'm coming to the Garo Hills. Ah, tsaka asong na riban yan chang ko, lachi ko pong ah. You know, I in my passport, I have gone to all of these nations. Ah, na si mga ni passport ko ni di yah yah yah, asong mga yahon ke. I have baptized so many people. Ang dita mandirang ko nakpulat ha. I have. You know, planted so many churches. Angan dita mundo yung ko sunga ha. What does Paul do? Hindi ba Paul may ko taka? He says, "I'm a servant of Jesus Christ." Wala na ang ade Jesus Christo ni nuko. That's who I am. Aro ang ade was. And I want to challenge each one of you young people. Nasimang sa dami sa kanti ko nga yara bini ko taka. If God has to use you in powerful ways. Iso na si mangko blakit sa kalan ng ode. It always starts with humility. Wa pang na onata ni dong narangen. It always starts with coming to God and saying, God, here am I. I'm willing to be your servant. Na andang ng kiyot narangen. Yakai iso lang a na anga ng mi no call kita at jangi tang naska. Let me share with you a true story. Ano si mana? Kakit ang wabos ta ko agad skin. This was a time in the United States. Yan United States ba Amerika ang wabos ta? When the white people look down upon those who are black. Ah, zion ya bigel ka pok manderang wa bigel gisem manderang ko namen niyo na sam chunir at sam. One day there was a white lady in the market. Ah, saw saw saksa bigel ka pok may sik wa bazarong niya sam. And she suddenly saw a black man. Ano wa? Saksa bigel gisem mandi ko mi asa ko nakaha. So she tapped him. Ano nwa ko nagi doktor to paha. And she said, "You look like you need a job." Ah, nang ko de kam sandi ko pa mandi kita nka. If you come to my house, I'll give you a job. Nang nko na ibaw de ang anak na kam ka na kita kam onget. And so the black man went to the white lady's house. Ano man yah bigel gisem mandi yah mi asa wa mechni nko na yang ha. And the white lady took him behind her house. Ano nagi yah mechni uko nagi nokni jungle chir mong ha. And she said, "You see all this wood." Ah, agana ha. Yeah, bolthong rang ko nakama. I want you to chop it up. Ako ko nagi dentong thong nang nakai. And I want you to stack it up well. Ako ko nagi namay gati thong nako nang nakai. So the black man started to do that, right? Ano yaman niya? Bigel gisem may asa yan yata siya walk on nagi kam kana ba siya? After he finished everything, or black ko matutod niya mano? He said bye to the lady. Niya mano yaga na o mitsk na reganok niya kana. And he left. Aro yung ha? Just when he left, niya niya mano. The neighbor saw this black man. Noksulang niya bigel gisem may asa yan no kam ka ako nka ha? And she came running to this lady's house. Aro yaya noksul ni may mitsk wa no wa noksul ang wa no kona riba ha? She said, "Lady, you're so lucky." Wa kana? Ayan, ada blue yang asung kena. Lady said, Why am I lucky? Mana? Mana mereka yang asung kena? Don't you know that man who came to your house? Oh, nak ni nak ni bapa Mia sa kena visa ma? That is Brooker T Washington. Yara Brooker Brooker T Washington sabah. He is the president of this big college. Ya, dal big apa kalau sih presiden sabi ada. You are so lucky that this big man came to your house. Nah, the blong yang asung kena apa mandi orang ha, nang nukun yang tak apa dal gempa mandi riba. The lady was shocked. Non ya macam jago kah? She made him to cut the firewood. Wah, ko ambul putat dah. So she quickly got ready. Nih muat alat kian nak thari ha? And she ran to the college. Aro kalau sih nari yang ha? She went to the the president secretary. Aro mana ke presiden yang guna yang ha? Ma'am. Uh, as a president secretary ni ingi agana madam i want to meet the president anga president ko grung nas kia and when she came into his room al jen salo wa uni wa mitsuk uni kutri na pa booker t washington was wearing his suit i know the booker t washington at the suit ko gana cham he was very very smart aro na men ko smart ong e ga sin ka the lady looked at him aro ya mitsuk ko nge ni ha sir i'm so sorry wa kan ha as ki pa anga de i'm so sorry Ano ang ko kima kabo? I didn't know who you were. Nasaw ko nga wisa. Please forgive me. Asa pa ang ko kima kabo? And Brooker T Washington smiled. 
aro booker thi washington khadung smut na said lady wagana ha me said this morning i prayed and said god i want you to help me with two things ama ya phungon de isol pi ha isol a nang amungni chang ko tak chaka ni ko nang de ge ha one skang ba i want to do some exercise ama mai ko ba ke exercise kana ski ha and this morning you gave me exercise aro ya phungon ang na exercise kana ka tholo na number two gani ge pa i said god give me a new friend ंगशिंग <laughs> you see men like joseph now we are joseph kata tak ma mande men like paul paul kata tak ma mande men like brooker t washington brooker t washington tak mande our savior the lord jesus anthony jogat kepa gadel jesu they became servants wa ma ara no call rang and this morning god asks you ya prongo i sol ya kon nang na gani are you willing to become a servant na ara no call ong na gata thariya ma lesson number 2 Green was Kirani. So you're writing down in your notes under stewardship. Lesson number one is Joseph became a servant. Lesson number two. Now see, mangas share. I am going to say, lesson as Kang was Kirani as stewardship. Ono Joseph para no kolong na tas ka ni mang green ka pa. Lesson number two. Joseph was a man who had sympathy for people. Joseph para nakba mande wa jian mande ska na kasani katong dunga. You know, in verse twelve, the Bible says. Put chigniyo. Sastron kya gana? Joseph's father asked him to go and check on his brothers who are looking after the flock in Shechem. Joseph ni bhaga pa. Joseph ko unhi ada tharang je man Shechem mo mes sakni ka aur yangi mo niit china gana ha. Who were his brothers? Unhi ada tharang saorang sam. Look with me at verses three and four, right? Put gatham break ho ni bo. In verse three, the Bible says Joseph was his father's favorite son. Ah, put gatham agana Joseph para. Yeah, uni bhaga pan namnu patra pan de phante wa. And so the Bible says in verse 4 when his brothers saw that his father loved him more than them, they hated him. Ani wa phot priyagans ka wa mangni bhaga pa Joseph na khasa bata ni nakora uni ada thangrang uko machia they hated him. Wa ma uko machia and they would not speak a good word about him. That's what the Bible says. Aro ndeke Joseph ni mun ni ada thangrang mamung na makhoba agan jane sasoga. So they were rude with Joseph. Ani wa ma Joseph na Joseph na na men na giza ko takna skebra ngacham. Look at verse 5. Phot bonga khoni bo. Joseph had a dream. Joseph Jumang nka and he told it to his brothers aro wa Jumang ko ni ada thara na kana and the bible says they hated him even more aro wa Jumang ko kana ni jamano uni ada thara ko batte machi ha they were rude with him wa ma ko nid ka namja ha they didn't say a kind word ona khasani khatran ko ganja they hated him ko machi ha come down to verse 8 po chat ko ni bo The Bible says, and his brothers said to him, "Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule over us?" And they hated him all the more. Nani the other time ko na na chong mot chini ko sa ko raja ongen ma ba na chong mot chini ko sa ko nukpa ongen ma uni man uni jumang na kani gaman uni akatharang ni man ko machi bata ha. They were rude with him. Aw na namgisa ko ta ka. They didn't speak kindly to him. Na nam kasa yagan ni ko do do him. Oh, Machia! They hated him even more. Aro bati bati ko Machia kare kaha? Verse eleven. Pochisa. His brothers were jealous of him. Uni ada thangrang uko maknenga ha. Now I'd like you to think about that. Now yani kaman chanchi china ana simang ko nang nata. They hated him. Ah, uh, Machia. They were rude to him. Ko namgiza taka. They spoke unkindly to him. Oh na sagiza taka yaga na. They were jealous about him. Uko maknen mukpua ha. And the father calls him. Ah, pagbo ko kame. Can you go and check on your brothers? Yan ang niya ada thang rang may ongyan na liang niya kaya naman. What would you do? Nagi ong ode na aram ay ko kaya naman. Ang aram I will not go. Ang ade riang jawa. They hate me. Wama ang ko machia. They don't speak kindly to me. Wama ang na kasaya kanja. I hate them too. Ang abo wama ko machis ka. But not with Joseph. But Joseph din kita kaya. Joseph has a heart of sympathy. Joseph po. Nagi sakup pa na na kasa chaka ni gisuk tonga. He is able to love the people that even harm him. Wa 
Antana Namgisa Kodakani Kapa, but Namakaba Mandiran Namba Waka Sankwa. He's able to love the brothers that speak rudely to him. Una Namgisa Akankapa Namgisa Kapa Adatanaba Waka Sana Maninkwa. In Second Kings Chapter Five, Agni Razarang Ore Bungao, the Bible talks about a young girl. A Sastro Saksa Dambekapa Mitrani Mitsuki Sangana. She was taken as a captive. And she was brought into the house of a man called Naman. And she, and she was a slave in his house. Now you think about it. She was taken captive. She sold. And she's now a slave. And you know what she finds out? She finds out that her boss Naman has leprosy. If you were that little girl, you would be saying, Yes, you deserve it. You took me as captive. You sold me. You've made me a slave. God has punished you. You deserve your leprosy. But not the girl in uh, Second Kings 5. She goes to Naman's wife. And she tells Naman's wife, I know how Naman can be cured. You see, these are men and women whose hearts are filled with sympathy. Able to love people even when they do harm to you. What about you? Do you have sympathy in your heart for people? Can you love people who have harmed you? Can you forgive people easily? Is your heart sympathetic towards people? You know, uh, I come from Kolkata. And you know, many of you know, Mother Teresa lived in Kolkata, right? One day, Mother Teresa went to the house of a very rich man. And she said, Sir, I've come to ask you to help my children. You know, Mother Teresa had a children's home. And she said, I've come to ask you to help my children's home. Please, sir, please. And the man looked at Mother Teresa. And he said, I've been waiting for this day. So you know what he did? He cleared his throat and he spat in her hand. And he said, that's my gift to you. You know what Mother Teresa did? Mother Teresa, She said, sir, thank you for your gift for me. Now you give my children. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you for your gift to me. Now you give my children. That man was so shocked. And he had never experienced such sympathy and such compassion for people. He fell down at her feet. And he said, Madam, forgive me. I spat in your hand. But you showed me love. And from that day, till today, that rich man's family, they sent two full lorry loads of food to the mother home every month. You know how it happened? Sympathy. 
one khasa chakani khathong ni have sympathy nango nakaba khathong do ma so lesson number 1 ne mas khang ba joseph was a servant joseph para no kholo lesson number 2 Ganiga pa Joseph had a heart of sympathy. Joseph po ndike khasa chakani khathong donga. Lesson number 3. Katham bas kirani. Joseph is willing to make sacrifices. Joseph para ndike on khangani rango dakna gata thariya. Look at Genesis chapter 37 verse 12. Ah abache ode khola chisni pochi gini guni bo. His brothers were gazing their flock at Shechem. Uni ada tharara So his father sends him to go and check on his brothers. You know the distance between where Joseph was and Shechem? From the valley of Hebron to Shechem, Hebron Akawiyoni Sekemona was a little over 60 miles. One mile chidokna onti sabna bagana. It possibly took a couple of days. Unona riang nagata adita sala ko nanga. And in those days they didn't have cars and motorbikes and buses. This was very difficult time. Wa somai rango nikhe gari rang motorbike rang aro gapan riadon chorang nongja namen rakka pa somai wa. But Joseph was willing to make the sacrifice. And ba Joseph para ya ko on khange kham khana gata Yeah. he was willing to travel that distance to go and check on his brother nakpa chelbia ramarang ko yange uni ada thangrang mai ongya ko ni na wa thari ha the other thing that we want to look at mangapan niyatna skanera if you look at genesis chapter 34 abachia odai khola chibri ko badal gensum ode something terrible happened in shekem mai ba namen namja bi ba shekem ong ha joseph sister had been violated in shekem ya shekem ong Joseph ni noga pa ko babi thang ko nikhe namgi sa taki khala kaha. So Joseph's brothers had gone and killed many of the men in Shechem. Awa unig man Joseph ni ada thang rang ya Shechem ay dumpa banga miya sa rang ko niyangi sote ha. Now can you imagine? Yaku chanchiyak da ni bo na chanchiyo ka ma. Joseph is going alone to Shechem. Joseph te saksan ya Shechem ona yangi ha. Not only was this place a long distance, yan chelgupa Rama ba chelgupa Rama ko yang nasan hoy ja. This was a dangerous place for Joseph to go to. Joseph na ria bia pona ria ania na men khen begini ongi acham. But ndiba Joseph was willing to make sacrifices. Joseph para on khange anta ko on khang srange yang ham ko chisa na. Father in serving you, one ye chanchia apa baba ba anga nang ko nang na dang dikhi onani yo some ways in serving god nang na dang dikhi onani ra pai bar ko ma pai sol na dang dikhi onani wa i'm willing to make sacrifices oni man anga de ya on khang na dikho dakge dang dikhi onas ka i'm willing to travel the distance anga ya jigita chelo ba riang na gatanga thariya i'm willing to go through danger anga ken begini rang ko ba chagrung na thariya i'm willing to make sacrifices anga ke on khangan yang ko dakna thariya and i want to suggest you that today you can move from a place of being an ordinary person to a person that becomes a blessing to the world when you learn to make sacrifices onim nga da alu yakon ang na ganas ka na ram ram ko ba chadam be ba mande da alu ngoni agasak nda pathiani ko abag pa ong na gata de na ngo on khangani rang dongna nangen the bible repeatedly talks about taking up our cross and following jesus sastro chang ni chang anseng anthang dang chisol ko de pe e jisu ko jar ka ni gaman agan na this is a life of sacrifice yan on khang pa jangi thang ni gaman agan ya this is a life of being able to give up many things yan anseng jangi thang bang a ra ko wat gal na ni gaman agan ya this is a call to go the extra mile yan anseng ko anthang ko ne ke khel na na ni ba je rang ko dak na na ko khel da ka ni gaman agan ya are you willing to make a sacrifice हिमालयन जोरंगो Jesus ni man agana amen was kepong ah and one time when he was in those ranges trying to preach about Jesus around ke wa sang sa wa himalayan abiting rango Jesus ni man agan prakna ri Jesus ni somayo a group of people caught him adita mandirang ukor ma and they started to persecute him 
Aro kono ke arik na ba uni ko sakon am giza tak na ba chhaa. They persecuted him. Aro waman ukon ke khalake roi ho. They said if you don't leave this place, na ya biap ko atang zamo de. We will do to you what we did to Qatar Singh. Qatar Singh na jeko chhaa taka wa absan ko nang na ba chhaa taken. And Sadhu Sundar Singh was shocked. Aro Sadhu Sundar Singh na jago ka. He said who is Qatar Singh? Wah, Sanchi na apa sih ya? Ya Qatar singer semua. I thought I am the first Singh to come to this area. Wah, agan ha? Ya area ini ya jual na apa sih? Apa sih? Angan sekarang bah Singh ni angan Sanchi aja. Who is Qatar Singh? Nak udah ya Qatar singer semua. So he started to find out. Ini mula wah, Sandi na apa sih ya? Then he realised Qatar Singh was 19 years old when he accepted Jesus. Orang mula ya ku wih ha? Ya Qatar singer ha? Bersih Jesus ku ngani semua Jesus ku rasa kau mandi orang. After he accepted Jesus, wah Jesus Kristus ku rasa kan zaman oh. He had terrible persecution in his house. Wah nukthang ngonin, namen arkani ku mana ha? They did all kinds of terrible things. Oh na nukni mandi thangran uko bangan amgi jago na oh na ha. And finally, aro bon kamau on a very cold winter day in Punjab. Punjab po, namen pagi pa somayo. Qatar Singh's own father. Qatar Singh ni pagi pa an. He took off all of Qatar Singh's clothes. Wa Qatar Singh ni ganding Singh ni makan ok tokah. Qatar Singh was completely naked. Aro niki Qatar Singh ara niki nagande wahat sam. He said, "You want to walk with Jesus?" Aro pagi pa gana na Jesus baksan zangi thangas kama. The door is open. Ande de doga we do naya. Get out. Katang bo. And Qatar Singh looked at his father. Aro Qatar Singh antani pagi pagi niya. And he said, Daddy, you see me naked. Aro agan ha, Baba nangko nagande mo na kaya. I am clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Ande bangga, Jesus Christo ni kaket mo niya si ganat sa nataka. And he left his, and he left his home. Aro na kaya noko at tiri ang hani. Went to the Himalayan ranges. Aro na kaya Himalaya abiding rango nari ang hani. Gave up his life serving Jesus. Aro wab ya po nwa Jesus na kam kaya na hindi jangi po na ha. Sadhu Singh was so challenged. Waku kenal sadu, waku wiyan sadu sunda singa de gisko na men rabia ni kumana ha. Everywhere he went, he told the story of Qatar Singh. Jiu na bo wari yang bo unis kian ni awa wiyak Qatar Singh ni mbiya gan thay thay ha. One day in Patiala, salsa o Patiala o. As he was sharing Qatar Singh story, awa Qatar Singh ni golpo ko agan beteng. An old man started to cry. Saksa bude pa grab na bace. They brought him in front. Ukum jenma mukau na. Why you cry? Arus ngah, na mana grabnya? He said, I'm his father. Kuno wakan ha, angan uni pagi baca. I remember the day. Wah sal kau ngaji seringnya. I took off all of his clothes. Angan uni cula barang mukai. I said, get out. Aru angan kau arka, katang bo. He looked at me. Aru angku ni makan. He said, I'm clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Anga Jesus Kristo ni bebe orang ini cianga kanat sana tak mana? That day. Aru wasalo. Sadhu Sundar Singh led Qatar Singh's father to Jesus Christ. Sadhu Sundar Singh. Khatar Singh ni pagap ako, Jisoo ko beber anyo na dilbas ka. Men willing to make a sacrifice. Jee mande rangan, nagi onkhang na gata thariya. Lesson number one. Skhang ba? Joseph was willing to be a servant. Joseph para nukholong na gata thariya. Lesson number two. Gani ka ba? Joseph's heart was filled with sympathy. Jee, Joseph ni khatung ara sakup na khasa chaka ni ka ba? Lesson number three. Gatham pas kira ni? Joseph is willing to make sacrifice. Joseph para onkhanga ni ko daka. Lesson number four. Brig pas kira ni? Joseph is single-minded. Joseph para mung sa ding ding ko chanchi ka po ma? You know, the Bible says in verse 15, Sastro pochi mo ka na? When Joseph finally arrived in Shechem, Jan salo Joseph sekemo na sokang ha? His brothers were not there. Uni ada tangan orang orang tunggu macam. If I was Joseph, angah Joseph bunga deh. I would have been very happy. Ah, belum yang khusyuk mana? I obeyed my father. Ah, ni pagi pagi kata kor ajo. I came to Shechem. Ah, Shechem mana ibu? My brothers are not there. Ah, ni ada tangan orang tunggu. God, I did your work. Ah, so long ada kamu kor ajo. I'm going back. Ah, ni reply kena. Thank you for saving me. Ah, kor jokat ane macam. Oh, his brothers hate me. Oh, yang ni ada tangan kor macam. I actually don't want to see them. Ah, umur ni nabis macam sekali. But I didn't want to say no to my father. Ni bang ni pagi pagi jecak nasi. I came to Shechem. Ni mana Shechem mana ibu? They're not there. Wah, mangun ada tunggu. I'm going to go back. Ah, ni reply kena. Not with Joseph. Ani buat Joseph ni ni kita kacau. He doesn't go back. Wah yang tu aja. He doesn't give up. Wah, ni kaya what girl aja. He's single minded. Wah mengsat deng deng kau cincin. And I want to suggest to you that God uses people who are single minded, who don't give up easily. Wah ni kaya yang kau ada isman agan eska. Isol nak bermandi yang kau cakala, jemangan 
The Bible says Joseph is wandering around. Joseph is inquiring around. Joseph is seeking for his brothers. And then finally he finds out that his brothers have gone to Dothan. Now, Dothan is another nine miles away. He is already tired. He's already come a long way. He's done everything he can. He's done everything he can. Nine miles more. But Joseph doesn't give up. And even Joseph, what girls are? He's single-minded. A good steward. Good word is single-minded. Seems there was a king who had no children. So he decided that he wanted to appoint one of the young men from his kingdom to be the next king. So he said, on such and such a date, I want all the young men who are willing to become the next king to come to my palace. And you can imagine, right? A strong young man. Long line. And, 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 the king, and the king came out. And he said, I'm going to give you a work to do. All of you will be given a seed. And I'd like you to take this seed. And I'd like you to look after the sea. And come back after six months. So all the boys took the seeds. Went, went back home. And in some boy's house. Beautiful flowers. Oh, some of them having beautiful little plants. But there was one boy. His name was Ming. He was working really hard. He took good care of the sea. But nothing was happening. The other boys had beautiful plants. Finally, the day came. All the boys were taking their pots and going to see the king. Ming didn't want to go. But his mother said, you must go. You are faithful. You looked after that seed. You are steadfast. You are single-minded. You go. So Ming was carrying that pot. And everybody was making fun of him. No? Look at my flowers. Look at your pot. And they all came and stood in front of the king's palace. And the king came and checked everybody's pot. And then he went up in front. And he said, the next king will be Ming. And everybody was surprised. The king said, when we gave you seeds, we boiled all those seeds and then gave it to you. We knew they were not going to produce any plants. But you were all trying to produce something. You were trying to please me. Rather than being single-minded. Ming was single-minded. Not giving up. So as you look at Joseph, 
Joseph Konibo, number one. Skangaba, servant. Wa nokol, man of humility. Antango nat ke pa. Number two. Gani ke pa. Heart of sympathy. Wo sakubinan khasa sakani katunga. Loving the people that hate you. Je mandian ukho machia uwa magna khasa ni dong. Number three. Ke tham ke pa. Willing to make sacrifices. Wa onkhang nagata thariya. Willing to go a distance. Willing to go into danger. Wa kinani aro chel ke pa bia prahonde yang na bo thariya. Lesson number four. Break ke pa. Single mind. Wa mang sadeng dengko chansia. Won't give up easily. Wa altu altu wat ganza. And final lesson. Ara bun kam ke pa skirani. Joseph was selfless. Joseph an thang ni ke man chansia. You know, Joseph didn't have anything to gain. Wiyamana simang Joseph na wonder yang ani mam manda pani dongja. You know when he the Bible finally says when he when his brothers saw him they wanted to kill him. Sastri ko gana ada thang ro khon kon ukho sot na sa mang songa. He had nothing to gain. Mamang ba you know manda pani Joseph na de dongja. But he was not selfish. Ani ba wa alakshi ra ko. He actually had a genuine desire to bless his brothers. Uni khatong uni uni ada thang rang na wa jitak ba obostha ba pathi ani gora banas ke bonga Joseph was selfless Joseph an thang ni gaman chanchi pa ki ja me ge kham bap man de wa many times i am selfish banga changon sorry banga changon anga de alaksi da ke bonga but Joseph was selfless le ba Joseph de ne ge ongja he didn't think of himself wan thang ni man chanchi ja he thought about this wa Saka banani man sanchia. What about you? Nara mai rokom. Are you a good steward? Nara nam ke pas steward ma? Are you a servant? Nara dam te ken wono khol ma? Is there humility in your life? Nani jangi tani o antang ko natani donga ma? Is there sympathy in your life? Nani jangi tani o saka banana ne ke kha sa chakani donga ma? Are you willing to make sacrifices? Nara on khangani ang ko dakna da thari gen ma? Are you single minded? Nara mung sa ding ding ko jot khang dak ba ma? Are you selfless? Nara antani man sanchi pul ki cha Adik yang dengki untuk bapa. This morning, can we come to God? Ya perengo, anjing dengki isol mana ibu nama kian. Say God, agana isol. I am like Joseph. Ah, Joseph kita manusia. Just an ordinary shepherd boy. Wah, ram ram kepada zak ni kepasan. I am like that dirty piece of bamboo. Awa mesti kepa watok pa wah kita. But God, you took Joseph. Adik isol, na Joseph korah. You made him a blessing to the world. Aro na aku agak sakmal na pati ni zapang. You can take a dirty bamboo. Na mati kepa wa aku atau koran mana? Make it a beautiful flute. Aro ko nito kepa basuri wat nang temana. You take my life. Na ang zangi tani ko rapo. Make it beautiful, God. Aro ko na anito po oiso. I want to be a good steward. Anga nang kepa steward, nang kepa aw naska. I fail you. Anga nang ni nang ni kani tong zah. But this morning I want to give you my life. Nibe ya prengo ang ni zangi tawa nang nang nat. I want to be a servant. Anga dam tukian kepong naska. Give me a heart of sympathy. Angna sakabana na kasa saka ni kapatong ko. Help me to make sacrifices. Angko niki on kangan yung kapatong na dapat. Help me to be single minded. Angko mungsa ding ding ko jot kung dapat na kita. Lord, I want to be selfless, God. Aw kete aw isol anga antani man sanchi kita ng diki ang kapatong nasa. Would you be willing to say that today? Dalo na ang diki antang ko on at scan ma. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Hayan sing magtsip na aros ko na ko chok na plaka. Hayan sing plaka ni solubi. As every eye is closed and every head is bowed. Anseng plakan magsip pingon, ano skorang ko chukno kayon? You've heard God's word. Na iso ni katakok na. Are you a good steward? Na namgo pa steward ma? Maybe somebody is saying this morning. Ay da sao ba yap prungwa ka niya? When I look at Joseph's life. Ang adzen sa lo Joseph ni sangitan ko niya. I realize that I'm not a good steward. Ang awiya ang namgo pa steward ng isa. I don't like to be a servant. Ang adzen no kol kita kam ka na sangitan na siya. I don't have sympathy in my heart. Ada sakit pun angna kasat sakit ani katong dongja. It's not easy for for me to make sacrifices. Angna de ini kau kangi kam kana de alchwa dongja. Many times I'm not single minded. Bangat sangon angna de mengsa dengan kau jod kang dakna bo manja. I'm selfish many times. Angna de thang ni kemen san alakshi dake bangat sumen sanchia. But God, thank you for speaking to me. Debe so na angna agana ina kum. Thank you that you love me. Na angna kasani mana kum. Thank you that you want to make me a blessing. Aro na ang na ang ko pati ni sa pang wadas kaya na kumbuti na. Would you touch my life this morning? Yah, pringo na ang ni zangi tani ko dang tap kaya may so. Take my life like Joseph. So set ko kita ang ni zangi tani ko rabo. And make me somebody who's a blessing God. Aro ang ko pati ni ko rabag pa ongat po oiso. I'll give you one minute quietly in your own heart. You pray that prayer to God. Ano si mana minute sa kon gan trip trip na ni katong yah biyani ko bipong. And after one minute silence. Aro minute sa na trip tong ni sa mano.
we'll pray together. And sing Absan Isolo begin. Our Father, we want to thank you for speaking to us this morning. We thank you that you are God who can make us a blessing. You took a shepherd boy and made him a blessing to the world. You want to take my life in the Garo Hills. And you want to make me a blessing, God. I want to be a good steward. Help me to be a servant, God. Fill my heart with your sympathy. Give me the grace to make sacrifices. single-minded. God, help me to be selfless. I'm not able to do it often, God. Would you please help me? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Plakon Matella, my book, Yatan Nordic, ya came into the friends of Rabbit. By giving the glory and honor to our Heavenly Father, 